Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hafiz. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your R4 card for your Nintendo DS. If you are new to the channel, do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as you will help the channel grow. Thank you. Over the years, I've collected a lot of NDS games. It's always a dilemma figuring out which game I want to bring out for my long commute. The Nintendo DS has some of the most unique game library from various genres. Some of my favorite Nintendo DS games include the Mario 64, Pokemon Black, Mario Kart and Contra 4. In this video, I will show you how you can set up an R4 card so you can back up all your favorite games into one card. An R4 card is a flash cartridge for Nintendo DS, 2DS and 3DS handheld system. Similar to the Game Boy Everdrive, the R4 will enable you to play backup ROMs and homebrew games from the SD card. Essentially putting your ROMs onto an SD card and inserting it into the R4 card so that it can be played on your DS, DS Lite, DSi, 2DS, 3DS and new 3DS. With so many variations on R4 card in the market, which one should you get? After testing a few of this card, I would recommend you to go for the R4 Gold as it is the easiest to set up and does not include a time bomb expiry date. Here we are in AliExpress, search for R4 Gold NDS. This first one should be fine. There are a few variations like the silver and the wood card but your best bet will be going for the gold. This card does not come with an SD card but I will leave a few links of some of my recommended SD card in the description below. It has been 6 days after I placed an order, these are the things needed to set up an R4 card. For the SD card, I would recommend getting an 8 to 64 GB. Anything more than that is an overkill as the DS games are relatively quite small. The R4 kit comes with an SD card USB adapter to plug into your PC. You will also need a DS, DS Lite, 2DS or 3DS to play on. Alright, let's start by downloading the kernel which is an operating system for the R4 card. Go to the website link that is listed on the R4 card. It will take you to the SDHC website. Click on the R4 download. There's a few variations of this but look for the R4 Gold Pro. This is a 2020 update. These are ads, don't click on it. Instead, scroll down to the kernel download. Click on the language that you want to download and it will start downloading immediately. Now let's prep our SD card. From experience, you want to get a class 10 SD card as it's the fastest write speed. 8 to 64 GB is sufficient and the SD card will need to be formatted to FAT32. This is my 32 GB SD card. Mine is on a G drive, yours could be different. I've labeled the SD card as subscribe, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Alright, we first need to format the SD card. Right click on the drive and click format. Ensure that the file system is set to FAT32. Here you can also label your SD card. Click on start to start formatting the SD card. Next, let's copy the R4 Gold kernel onto the SD card. Unzip the downloaded file. I'm using WinDraw but you can use 7-zip as well. Open the English folder, select everything inside the folder and drag it into the root of the SD card. Once everything has been copied over, create a new folder called NDS. This will be where we will keep the NDS backup games. Getting your NDS backup games or ROMs. ROMs are digital copy of your games. I can't tell you where to get your .NDS ROMs from but here's some way to get them. Firstly, you can backup using your original cartridge. I will cover this method in a future video. The other way is to search for .NDS ROMs on Google or archive.org. They are quite easy to find. Here I have a backup file of my favorite NDS game of all time, Contra 4, which I have copied from my original cartridge. If your file is compressed .zip, use WinRNR or 7-zip to unzip the file. You need to extract the NDS file and put it onto the NDS folder in your SD card. Once copying is done, simply eject your SD card from the computer. Insert your SD card into the R4 card, making sure that you have pushed the SD card all the way in. Insert the R4 card onto the Nintendo DS and turn it on. Run the NDS cartridge. The R4 menu will boot up. Here you can access the games, music and the setting menu. Select the games menu and press A to enter the game section. There are two files here, the Moonshell which is a music player app and the Contra 4 game which we had copied over. Scroll down to Contra 4 and press A to start the game. The R4 card will load the ROM and run the game. The game runs smoothly just like how it's supposed to be. The Contra 4 is about 32 MB which means that in a 32 GB SD card, it can fit about a thousand of these NDS games. 
and there you go guys that's how you set up an R4 card and run backup NDS game from your SD card. If you have found this video useful do consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. With that as always thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everyone.